previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. What is with these loading speeds, man? Come on now. Jeez. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. All right, Danny Ocean. Let him finish. This sounds fun. Oh Most order gosh, of business Molly. 7.30 a.m. Run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. I should tell you, I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Sorry, Molly. Pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. I do not. Have you both finished? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. 7.55, put head in microwave. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. Dang, Molly. Gotta go for that daily jog. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So, I just go up to her and say... All right, love. Pardon? Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. I'll pick some up after work. Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She can talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. Days planned. What was the deal with that piss up the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle aged blokes? Oh my gosh. Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So, are we going for this run or what? He's a misunderstood character, a lot of hidden depths. Gotta get them, gotta get them all in. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. Oh no. I know what's wrong with the controller, you guys. Oh, I still have it set on the Apex settings. Quite self absorbed. Well, you're no know, role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too fast. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit chat, you give me a stitch. Come on, let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless, I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me, you're a total workaholic and a massive geek. I'm a harmless dog. Well, that's a relief. Yeah, sure. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? What do you mean? I've never felt better. I'll call you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean, story? Be surprised to learn. Turns out you and me are related. 
Welcome Say to the what? family, Jack. Oh, they're all on the train together. Trying to get their story straight. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious brother. All right, bruv. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hiya, hey, Shaz. Uh, it is Sh Shaz, right? I think, I think John must have told me that. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as an older brother? I don't want to get all soppy, but John, I don't know where I'd be without you. That's quite all right, Jack. I'm glad you've turned into such an athletic, creative, fiercely intelligent young man. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. Better get used to him. He's going to be around a while. Nah. I'll be out of your hair before too long. Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Nowhere that interesting, really. He was in Cambodia. Wow. Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping. Noble stuff. Not that glamorous, really. Mainly just cleaning toilets and making coffee. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super rich. Yeah, I almost can't believe it's true. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. Wait, I'm gonna head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Poor beans. Submarines. Too much. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make oh, wow. them stand up and things. It's awesome. You having me on? An artist? Doing what? So hard to believe. I work in the interactive media. You know, video games. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting-edge stuff. Human condition? Yeah. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. Oh, wow. There's this one Shaz plays where you've got to arrange coloured balls. Did you do that? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> Molly's always saying some crazy stuff. All right. I got the sprouts right there. So Run into the office. Super fan. It's not far from your office, actually. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? Sounds pretty easy to me. There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? I struggle enough with the oven timer. I don't think this is going to work. Don't sweat it. I'll walk you through it. Think of me as a master puppeteer and you my obedient marionette. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems. <laughs> she just ran into the door. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. Yeah, she's pretty dippy. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. This dude's being all suspicious. Look at him. Let me sneak past her, though. Like, why? Dude, 
dude. Why are you doing all this Jedi mind trick? What's going on? I'm pretty sure she knows that you're there. You oh, well wow. Rested. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning! Derek's in a good mood. Right, Derek. Yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. He's my boss? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Brilliant, thank you. Saw lots of old temples and the like. Really enlightening. In Benidorm? Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? Just don't screw up, pretty much. It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good to stuff like that. Thanks for the encouragement. It's simple, trust me. Joan's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rubble support. And this is a computer game. Video game. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia's Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, hello. Um, good weekends, everyone? Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay. <laughs> this dude's crazy. Let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Are you rumbling? By the way, feel free to step in if I get anything wrong. No? All right, then. Okay, Tobias. I believe you're looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. Are you doing the IA? The, the AI? One of them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure that's quite right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to even if I don't. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm this all talking to himself. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. That's uh, certainly some words of encouragement. Tell me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, What's this yes! dude doing? Hey, yo. Oh my gosh. Who's talking to a video game? Like a retro game right here. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot. Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. 
Uh oh, this is not gonna be good. Probably gonna get this dude fired, to be honest. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Yeah, it's very, um, dense. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit, and then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. It'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Hang on. There's no way I'm working weekends for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off-message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. Yeah. I'll set an example, all right. Bloody cheek. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Passion? I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Did he get him fired? He got him fired. Hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now, before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. You bloody idiot. I told you not to do anything stupid. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I had to get a little bit fired. Oh Told my you. gosh. Between you and me, I think that Clive fella overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. What the hell are we going to do now? It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I'll sort your pay slip. Okay. Here's the thing. Uh-oh. Oh, Molly, come on. Everything okay? No, really not. Pretty sure he got fired too. I've got something to tell you. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, it's my figure you're ruining there. Yeah. I'll have a quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. 